Hey, this is Derek Watley. In this video, let's take a look at a new way to add a template broker and the service catalog to an OpenShift environment using the Operator Lifecycle Manager. To begin, let's take a look at the result from an OC git cluster service brokers command. And we'll see here that the server doesn't have a type cluster service brokers. And if we do a similar command checking for cluster service classes, the server also doesn't know about that. So this means that our OpenShift environment doesn't have a Kubernetes service catalog installed yet. So if we look at the current projects that we have available, we can see that we're missing the cube service catalog project. We want to add this to our OpenShift cluster, so we're going to go ahead and do an OC create namespace cube service catalog. And we're also going to create a namespace for the template service broker, which we'll add to our environment a little bit later. Heading to the web UI, we can see from the OLM UI that we have an option to create a subscription to the service catalog. But first, we'll want to switch over to the cube service catalog namespace that we've just created. Creating a subscription to the service catalog in this namespace will automatically create the service catalog and register it on the cluster. If we look at the pod section of this namespace after creating the subscription, it'll take a little bit of time, but eventually the service catalog will get into a running and ready state. The next step will be to go to the OpenShift template service broker namespace and deploy our first service broker that will connect with the service catalog. At this point, if we run another OC git cluster service brokers command, we'll get no resources found, which means that the server at least knows that type of resource is a valid type. But now we need to create an actual service broker. So inside of our OpenShift template service broker namespace, we'll create a subscription to the template service broker operator using OLM. Once this finishes, we'll need to create an instance of the template service broker operator in this namespace. So we'll create a custom resource based on the template provided. And a few seconds later, we'll see that the containers have started running and the API server for the template service broker is registering. And here, running this command once more, we can see that the template service broker exists on our cluster. Now if we do an OC git cluster service classes, in a few seconds we'll be able to see the list of template service classes that are available from the template broker. Going back to the web UI, if we head to the catalog, we can provision one of these new service instances We're going to create a Postgres instance in this case. We're going to use all of the default values here. And we'll create a binding for later use so that we can connect this Postgres database to another application. We can see that this service is provisioning. And if we, do, if we go to our Postgres-test project that we created that in, and do an OC get service instances, we'll see that a Postgres service instance indeed is provisioning. Looking at the pods that are running, we can see there's a deploy pod running, and eventually the deploy pod will disappear, and just the actual service will be left behind. And looking at the logs, we can now see that our Postgres database is running and has been fully provisioned using the service catalog and the template broker.